Well, I went to a friend's house today and she sent me home with all of this that she had packed up. She knew I scrapbooked and that I have a whole bunch of friends that scrapbook and she was emptying out her stash at home because she's strictly doing project life. So she had all of this and I mean there's tons in here. These are, let me see if I can get a different angle. These are not small bags. Those are really tall bags and they are all full of paper and kits and albums and she has everything so neatly organized. She even has like these little containers here and um, she has tons of spools of ribbon and goodies like that just all in here. It's just amazing how much stuff is in here and ribbon. Well then she had another friend who is getting rid of a ton of her Stampin' Up! stuff and many albums and paper. So this entire box is just full and you can tell it's it's a huge box. It doesn't have any of our addresses or anything like that on it. These are just some old boxes they had around. Um, and then in here is all the Stampin' Up! stuff and stamps. A lot of these are like wedding related and flowers, lots of ink pads and things like that. So I'm going to give those to my friend Tony because... Okay, so let me see if I can do a quick pan of the things that I pulled out of that rack from my friend today. Hopefully you can hear me. Sorry, it's on my tripod, so I know it may be a little bumpy. Okay, so I'll try to give you a close-up of some of the things that I picked out of that stash. Okay, so the first thing I decided to keep are these little um, mini notebook, mini books, because they can be altered on both sides. I thought these would be great to keep as little gift books um, for like an event. I could put it in the, oh, sorry. Um, I could put it in one of these and alter the colors uh, cover if I wanted to. There's also a pink one, so I just kind of saved those. Um, I saved a lot of the chipboard letter sets and things like that because I tend to use these a lot in Project Life. So this is like a three-in-one set. It has, you can see a big and then a smaller and then of course the whole outer perimeter. Um, she had some of these blue and green letters by Recollections. I thought those were really cute. And then these I thought would go really well with the Neapolitan collection that I have from, um, I have the digital kit. And these are just alpha stickers. Um, but I thought those would go really well with that Dear Lizzie Neapolitan collection that I already have for Project Life. So I saved all these little stickers here. And then I think these are some rub-ons. And some Jenny Bolin, I think those are rub-ons as well. Another set of really cute chipboard letters. And I don't mind the patterns on these. If I end up not using that particular color or pattern, I can always use my acrylic paints and paint over those. So that's why I went ahead and saved all of these as well because it's a really nice thick chipboard. This is probably the only paper collection I saved. I think all of this is one collection. I could be wrong, um, but I think most of this is Cosmo Cricut. And I just really liked um, the letters. Let's see if I can show you some of those. So there's the chipboard letters, and then it has some chipboard shapes and borders. This is from a set from a while back. These are blank. I believe these can be covered. And then here's a lot more um, sticker letters here and then tons of different types of fonts here. So there's different fonts and colors. This one has little polka dots. These have circles around them. I just thought they were really versatile and I can use them with so many of the sets I already have. I really like this one here. So these are all really cute and they all coordinate with each other. And then the papers are, 
really nice and neutral and colors that I still use and are pretty relevant even now even though this is an older collection um, and they are double sided so it's a nice little like heirloom collection um, and then it even has like all these little bitty let me see if you can see it better on this side punch out flowers and things like that that you can use those tiny tiny brads with as well as shapes and photo corners so I thought that was a cute little collection to hold on to so that one is Cosmo Cricut um, the next thing I did was I saved some tags and ephemera so this is actually an entire little tag book I doubt I'll use it as a tag book but I did like the quality of the tags inside and those would be great for Project Life. And then these cute little vellum sticker tags. And then she had some ephemera from Seven Gypsies. So I thought those were really cute as well. Let me try to zoom in just a little bit more. There we go. So these are some ephemera tags that she had in there. And then I thought these little epoxy stickers were cute. And she had a whole bunch of these little envelopes. So these would be cute to save things in Project Life. And then there were also some of these little tags that can be misted and also put into Project Life, stamped on. And then she even had one of these little library card holder things. So I thought that was really cute. Um... Then I saved a whole bunch of the metal embellishments, like, of course, brads. So I went ahead and saved some of these. I loved this flare. This is for a beach theme. Really cute recollections brads. I always eye these, but I've never picked up a set of these yet. So I have my first set from recollections. Those are really cute. And then she had these little metal accents, and I thought these were great because there's so many different things. You can use alcohol inks on those or whatever. And she had a lot of other little metal embellishments, like these are paper clips, and you can put scrap paper or whatever inside of those. Just thought that's great for Project Life. She has a few more in here. Um, I have some cameos this size that. I can make out of my clay molds and I didn't really have the plates but she had them so I went ahead and kept those and then there's some metal photo corners um, some clear buttons by Heidi Grace so these can be decorated with alcohol inks or a scrapbook paper behind them she also had some of these really cute um, what, would, what do you call these things? Hat pins. Beaded hat pins. And they're so cute. Love those. Um, let me reach over real quick. She also had these from Ikea, which I thought would be great on any buttons. I don't know exactly what they're called, but they're almost like a twine, but it's like paper. Um, yeah. Yeah says 100% paper so this is like a paper twine one in black and one in white I really liked these these are actually brads and I thought I could even color those with my alcohol inks if I wanted them to be a different color she also had a couple of these Karen Foster taglines left as well as this big word that says imagine she had some of these little ribbon slides, as well as these cute little tabs from, I think it's Making Memories. They've been around for a long time, but I've never had any of these. And then a ton more brads, of course. So here's some big chunky pink ones, and I figure I can always use acrylic paints on these, or my embossing powders that I just bought. So I went ahead and saved them even if I may not use the color. I know I'll use the shape and there's so much that I can do with those as well as these here. There's the bigger ones and there's smaller ones in here as well. 
She also had this wax seal. I have a lot of that wax, um, but I only have one seal. So now this one is really cute and very versatile since it has the two little hearts on it. Um, I also, she had some staple type of items in there like, um, I think these are Stampin' Up! dimensionals and they're a nice thickness. They're not too thick, but they're not too thin. And then she also had a whole pack of glue dots in there. So I went ahead and got those out. She had these great little decorative tabs from Heidi Grace. They're clear, so I don't think they're really going to show well on the camera right now. Um, but they're really cute. So I can use some stays on ink and ink those up with whatever sayings I want. Then I also kept a whole bunch of stamps. Now this is from her other friend that had dropped off a big box of items. I thought this stamp would be perfect for Project Life as well as this one here. I don't know how well you can make that one out on the camera. It says date, notes, and then it has like a swirly stamp on the side. I love this one. You are here. And I love the little arrow. And then this set I didn't have. I have another set by the same company, Autumn Leaves. But this is really cute for journaling spots on Project Life. I loved this rubber stamp, so I went ahead and kept this one. And then she had a whole bunch of Heidi Swap stamps. So let me pull those out. And there were actually duplicates. So since some of them were duplicates, I'm going to be doing a giveaway with some of those stamps. These are the ones I'm keeping. Destination, Love, Baby, Family, Cherish, All My Love, Forever, Fabulous and Moment. So it's really cute. I had seen those years ago. Excuse me, years ago and never bought them myself. So she also has this with Cuddlebug. And then these are all really good. They're from Stampin' Up, but they'll layer really well with embossing powders and inks. One says Happy Anniversary. This one says Moment. This is a whole set from 2005, Hope, Smile, Forever, and Peace. And then this one's set from 2004, Friendship, Thank You, Love, and Celebrate. And these are really cute and practical as well. A little piece, create, uh, a little piece of art created by. I haven't had one of those types of stamps. And then this one will let you fill in the date. So I can use that with... Any of those little phrases from the roller stamps that I have as well. And then she had a couple of punches and sizes that I don't have. This circle punch is bigger than the one I currently own. And this square is actually smaller than the one I currently own. So these layer really well with punches that I already have. And then I also went ahead and grabbed this tool out of the stash as well. Since I use a lot of mixed media putties and things like that. So that's what I grabbed out of that rack today, and um, the rest I will be giving to my other friends, and there's actually tons. This is such a small amount. It's a lot, I know, but this is actually a very small amount in comparison to what I left in those boxes. So hopefully Tony will have a chance to come get her stuff today, and I can't wait to use all this little stuff and flair in my project life. Thanks for watching.